Good. Okay. I just want to use the wire. Too many have died at heretic assassin hands. More will surely follow if you, good people, do not aid your valiant stewards of Byzantium in unearthing Show the men. No, no, god damn it. Proud citizens of Istanbul must band together with the stewards. Focus. <laughs> so many dumb sobs on patrol. Bro these days. It's like everywhere you look, there's an eat. He's involved without being spotted. Yay! This just works, right? I like it. Give me more sticky... actually... Impact, medium, sharp now. Well, no. what's he doing? Take the boat. Okay. Don't go, Galdi. 
Let's take care of the hell first. You by these assassin dogs. I shake in Arm here. <laughs> See you later. It's up there, isn't it? Pistol is surprisingly effective. It's not here. Oh, okay. I want to try something else before I do that. Only the most sublime castings and joints. You have never seen the light. Mamma mia! Got to get him out! Bring him down! Bring him down! Don't let him escape! I have swallowed uh. some garlic poultices for fighting her at Did I just uh. I must be tired. Oh. Carlson! If you spend the only hope, I still go think of it. Oh. Don't smile upon you always, friend. Come on, Come on. Okay, it doesn't work on civilians. A long time. I have lost a rat there. Ha! Go! Go! Stay there! Run! Yeah! Hold your bed! I've got to get out of here! Got to get out of here! Your okay. death will not be swift! Very honest here, we break the car. Quite long! Oh, good! I'm innocent! I'm innocent! 
Just needed to mess with you a bit. No, you're a bit. The dead are violated here. They don't need it anymore. I need the bullets. Okay, keys. What's the rest of the story? Templars have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my god. Maria, when we left Masyaf ten years ago, this order was strong. But all our progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth, and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the Order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. You are right. Thirty years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. And it caused a rift that has never fully healed. Walk with Maria. Speak reasonably, and reasonable men will listen. Maria Thorpe. Since childhood, Maria had always dreamed of being a knight. A tomboy in her teens, she was often ridiculed by other children and punished by her parents for refusing to be a lady. Eventually, she left her native England for Jerusalem, and after many hardships and trials, gained favor with a few prominent Templar crusaders. In time, she befriended the French Templar Robert de Sable, earning his trust and serving as his decoy in times of war. When the assassin Altair killed Robert de Sable in 1192, Maria was pushed out of the order of the Templars by their new leader, Armand Bucart. At this point, her hatred for Altair was limitless until he managed to show her the true corruption of the Templars' patient and careful counsel. In time, after traveling, studying, and walking counsel, Altair and Maria became close friends, then lovers. By 1193, Maria was as committed to Altair as he was to her. Having no good reasons to return to her homeland, she chose instead to remain at Masyaf and immerse herself in the life and the creed of the assassins. By the time Maria and Altair had their first child in 1195, they were inseparable, with their only prolonged separation occurring in 1204 during Altair's failed attempt to establish a guild in Constantinople. In 1217, now approaching 60 years old, Maria joined her husband and her oldest son, Darim, on a long journey east, after Altair had determined the threat of encroaching Mongols was too large to ignore. Absent from Masya for over 10 years, the couple grew closer still, their lives entwined and their hearts aching for home. Some will, but not Abbas. I should have expelled him 30 years ago when he tried to steal the apple. But you earn the respect of the other assassins because you let him stay. How do you know this? You were not there. I married a masterful storyteller. Look at this place. Masyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. But not in hiding. The Mongol threat demanded our attention and we rode to meet it. What man here can say the same? Where is our eldest son? Does Darim know his brother is dead? I sent him a message four days ago. With luck, it has reached him already. Abbas, I almost pity him. He wears his grudge like a cloak. His wound is deep. It will help him to hear the truth. As I walk these streets, I sense a great fear in the people. Not love. Abbas has dismantled this place. 
and robbed it of all joy. We may be walking to our doom, Maria. We may, but we walk together. Oh boy, what are we doing? Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself, not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair. Reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets, it has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died, believing you had betrayed him. Fighting, I guess. Dual hidden blades. Altair's sword. Hurry! I'm losing. Ah, no, mustn't kill assassins, even though they're yeah. stupid. Okay, how do I get out of here now? Get moving! I could have done that. And I thought everything was fine after we killed Al Mualim. I can't believe he killed my son, killed my wife. Bastards. Father, I got your message. What has happened? That him! Turn back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If you need more knives, take them. Above you! Tarim and Seth. The sons of Altair, Ibn Lahad, and Maria Thorpe, born in 1195 and 1197 respectively, both were raised as Altair was at Pasayef, trying to be assassins by their father and diplomats and men of honor by their mother. But unlike Altair, who spent most of his early years separated from his father as part of Al Mualim's training, Tarim and Seth grew up in a house full of affection and love. Altair, though often stern, was a patient father too. A man determined to give his sons what Al Mualim had given him guidance and respect. <coughs> Seth married quite young, and after his untimely death by his family, untimely death, his family moved to Alexandria at some point in the first half of the 13th century. It is unknown whether or not Tarim had any offspring of his own, but we do know he eventually joined his brother's widow and children in Egypt. Uh, throw a knife. Where is mother? She is gone, Darim. I'm sorry. Ahead of us! What? How? 
I didn't want to kill. Later. First, we fight. No, oh, come on. Where is mother? Ahead of us. She's gone, Darim. I'm sorry. What? How? This way. Later. First. Brothers, we need not fight. Forget reason, Darim. They've been poisoned by lies. I am not involved. Please ignore me. If you spare me, I'll We must leave at once. Get him. Murder. Go. Where are you going? Assassin! Watch out! Assassin! On him! No! I'm losing him! Come on! We cannot let them catch us! Then move! Was it Abbas who killed my brother? He killed your brother, Malik, and countless others. He is a madman. A madman with an army. He will die. One day he will pay. Why me? Time to go visit my uncle. Was it Abbas who killed my brother? I will have the apple, Altair, and I will have your head for all the dishonor he brought upon my family. You cannot run forever, not from us, and not from your lies. Maria, my love. I'm sorry. That's the next thing, I'm sorry. Through anger and betrayal, Altair lost those closest to him. And yet he carried on. I have never felt pain so severe. Perhaps because my heart is too hard to risk the joys of real love. You gotta get to it some sometime. Okay, there should be assignments here. Call assassins, call assassins. Use Elstone. Sure. It's late. I don't care. Hello. 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 Hello.
Oh, there's a den class. Sure. Before we do the talking, let me do the looting. Stick a bomb, kill the tripwire. Tripwire is difficult. Well, let's try it anyway. No, I'm using sticky. Race. Sure. Mentor, I am told you still have the speed and strength of a 20-year-old. I try to keep healthy. Yeah. Then how about a race? I could use a bit of exercise. You begin, and I will follow. Kidding. <laughs> that Templar is up to something. We should track him. What? What happened? What exactly desynced? The Templar is up to something. We should track him. Follow the strange man, do not be detected. Oh, okay. Oh, we're doing nothing. Where'd you go? <coughs> Do not let him escape! Hey, I can stop handle him! This Kill the pickpocket? Belong to the vizier he robbed. You take care of this body. I will return this document. Yeah. I'll go talk to the Herald first. Just to get the heat off a bit. They kill! What's his problem? You just the sight of blood makes me all yeah. go away then. Hell will be your ultimate reward, heretic. Killing innocents. These assassins are crazed. Taken completely by fire. I 
believe the... Uh. This belongs to you. Ah! Uh. Damat Ali Pasha, hailing from Eastern Anatolia, Damat Ali Pasha was a well-respected sublime port official and servant to Sultan Bayezid II, but in his later years, as the Sultan's ambitions for world conquest dwindled, Damat's loyalty all but evaporated, and he came to feel that the Templar philosophy was the only worldview capable of bringing about order and glory in a world where chaos and mediocrity seemed the norm. You have spared me much humiliation before the Sublime Port. Thank you, Effendim. And is that the young assassin who aided you today? Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. More will surely follow if you, good people, do not aid the valiant stewards of Byzantium in unearthing the menace. Carlos, who is he? <laughs> yes, very nice. Prince Selim's forces had a last report. By God, Arrived he's just killed. Stay back. Time to go visit I did not own. even see what happened. Stop, please. Cool. Anyone see the bastard did this? You! Oopsie. I need sticky. No, I need I need tripwire. And make it a big boom. No, not done. <laughs> well, here's the bank. I'm not spry at his age. You should hope you'll be spy at my age. Nothing. Okay. Adieu. Good for coffee. See, I am latest designs from the greatest designer. And I also offer. Are you chasing me? We must find him. Has he lost his mind? No, but I've got some money for you. <laughs> Uh 
Oh. It's a novel way to get about, I suppose. Forget himself. And you, when did you last see a position that takes a time to look after you? Where am I going? And he urges you to respect your civic duties and keep Constantinia prosperous until his return. The Dokkapa Armory needs your help. But they don't need it, and I do. You see this rack? Incredible quality. Your feet will love you more than your wife does. I'm not married. Ah, oh, you are better off. Come, feel it. You have sold well to me. <clears throat> I have not sold a thing. The Janissaries confiscated most of my rods just because they were imported. Do you know Tariq Barletti, their captain? Uh, he's around here somewhere, an arrogant man, but... Uh, you insult me, sir. I cannot take less than 200 action for this. My final offer. When I find him, I will ask about the rugs. You drive a hard bargain, Yabanche. Shall we compromise at 180? 180 Akche. And we part as friends. <laughs> Ezio and Suleiman suspect that the Janissary captain Tariq Barletti is involved with the Templars. Find and tell him to learn more. Distract two guards with bombs. Okay. Distraction bombs it is. Right? Distraction? Tariq Barletti was born a Christian Albanian, the second oldest male in a family of four brothers and three sisters. But under the Ottoman Devshirm system, where young boys were volunteered into the service of the Sultan, all these little details about his early life were quickly made irrelevant. Under Devshirm, you were an Ottoman first and last. 
As unfortunate as it sounds, the system worked out for a lot of young men at the time. Unlike slaves sold and traded elsewhere in the world, children raised in the Devshirma system had a good chance of holding esteemed positions, such as becoming a vizier, or, in Tark's case, a janissary, one of the Ottoman sultan's elite guards. Tariq was therefore a loyal Ottoman, and his hatred for the worldly Prince Ahmet was just as well known as his love and admiration for Prince Selim. This had the effect of swaying the loyalties of the entire Janissary corps into Selim's camp. So while the Janissaries remained technically loyal to their Sultan Bayezid II, they all harbored a secret desire to see Selim step in and take power. And because, of the, Janissar because the Janissaries were a formidable political force in their own right, Tariq could say these things openly without fear of censure or recrimination. A bold man, to be sure. Get in there! <coughs> it is a small yes, thing, master. but I like to think it is useful. Peace presents its opportunities, as does war. Now that I am no longer under steward house arrest and can run my business again, it seems my talents are well sought after. I want that contract. Of all Mehmed's accomplishments, I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. I pray God wills it be so. If you have no business here, you do not belong! Lead the way! <coughs> no loitering! All hail our great defender! <laughs> Salamun alaikum, good champions. What is this? You're not missing me. What the hell happened? <laughs> Broken game. Of all the great accomplishments, I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. I've been running around all day from one end of town to the other. Mm -hmm. I hardly live home. If you have no business here, you do not belong. Lead the way! My husband will soon be back from his business across the river. Oh, hell, our great defender! No loitering! By the way, I have to God damn it. Stupid bombs. With the pirates' renewed industry, the Christian of pilgrims... Of all accomplishments, mm. beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. They pass through here and take interest in the old Byzantine churches and relics. If you have no business here, you do not belong! Lead the way! how it turned out. The banquet itself was well appreciated by the Doge's dignitaries, and the trade accords they were able to sign will benefit all. No loitering! Yay, the stack to girls. I wanna arrow storm you. But I'll wait. Clear off. Looks like another dull one, huh, boys? Why don't we go bother the money then? Not among these peasants. If you have no business here, you no. And he drops the box and it vanishes into dust. A 
let me through. This is an important meeting. Make sure I am not being followed. Followed? Heaven forbid. Where is he going? some new domestic help. I may know someone suitable for the position, but I thought I would ask it before mentioning it. <sighs> <sighs> okay, again. He's there. He's walking in. He's just standing there. Okay, tactic number three. What? Okay. I didn't even have to go through here. What the hell are you doing? Cancer. Dear, lead the way. 
Hakkınızla kazandığınız parayı burada harcayın. En iyisini hak ediyorsunuz. It was hard. Now that can be. Stay here. Wait. Yelim. Hold it tight. That should be good enough. You there? I will be back tomorrow. If you have not disposed of all this foreign-made garbage, I will confiscate it myself and throw it into the Bosphorus. Lead the way. Yeah, I'll go though. Not losing him is right there. And you shouldn't have anything to worry about. They are violence and death personified. It's okay, he doesn't notice me. The might of the empire. <coughs> <coughs> Praise be on you, good warden. What news? Manuel has agreed to meet you, Tarek. He's waiting by the arsenal gate. <laughs> An eager old weasel, isn't he? Come. <coughs> I did that. <laughs> I would like to rebomb myself. Is there a reason for this abuse? Someone should teach you a little I was bit. actually just on my way home. Okay. I don't care. Bum bum. He's crazy. Well, what happened? Know your bed. I've got to get out of here. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Hello, bye bye. Let's see if I can type all of them. Have you lost all reason? Karetsin, oh, what folly is this? Here is our great lion. More power to you. <laughs> Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. the goods. Because they're useless. Wow. That's a nice loot. Damn. Another robbery gone wrong, no doubt. No one is safe anymore. They'll be after me next. You be. There is evil afoot. There is no safe here. Nice. Once an Eastern Orthodox church called Merelion, this building served two purposes simultaneously for many years. It was a house of worship above and a crypt below, built by Romanus as a funerary chapel for his wife. It was later converted into a mosque called Bodrum Kami after the man who restored it. Still later it was abandoned, for it sat in ruins up until its restoration in the 20th century. We must find these vile agents of the evil one and burn the life. He will get an ear. Burn the shut up. Yes, very nice. Um, nice hi. Moves. Viewpoint. Looks like that's the viewpoint.
It's a den. It's a full on den. Shakedown? Ah, I love pissing on beggars like that. Oh yeah, listen. Coming back to the matter at hand. I swear, <coughs> no dishonor to your sister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another 300 Akshay yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me Please come closer. I've got to test my theory that the ears are directly linked to the testicles. Say goodbye, oh, yes. assassin! I don't want to die! What? Where did he go? Ben! Get him! I didn't do it. I have never seen Lime, God damn it. Lime. Oh. Stung up from that tower. She's getting away. Why is he familiar? I want to talk. God damn it. Lime. Ah. I don't know. Something that Infernal's eyes tells you you won't pay. <laughs> well, was it worth dying for? You won't pay for him. I can't see him anymore. <laughs> Come on. There we go. <sighs> okay, first we help the guy. A curse on you, Sieves. You have ruined me. I hope the Janissaries pluck out your eyes and cut off your hands. Signora, what is troubling you? Those brutes there! They attacked me in my home and robbed me of my possessions. Please, help! The Acrobat. A skilled young woman is being harassed by guards for no discernible reason. Sure. You won't get away! <laughs> you I must get out of here! It was not me, I swear! I owe you my life already, Efeli. But I must ask another favor. Will you follow? Where to? Back to my shop where these men first set upon me. I fear they have taken or destroyed everything I own. Lead on. After you.
Ne? <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> Fine, be quicker about it. Coming? <laughs> Aren't you coming? <coughs> Up. That's useful, isn't it? You have done a great good, Effendi. I am sorry, I have nothing but my respect to offer you in return. You do not owe me anything, <clears throat> but consider lending your skills to the assassins. You are a skilled climber, and could learn so much more. Ah. I am grateful for the offer. Truly. But... There's really a but. Faction house. Romani. Let's save another civilian! 